Well, too bad. It was very unfortunate. Um, Miss out uh, picking up the uh, wins on the Jordan 1 Poland, uh, the grade school. But then I was working today. I was gonna go, but unfortunately it was raining and it's not worth it if I might gonna have a problem down the road. I don't wanna risk it because it's just only 30, 30, 40 dollars profit compared to the um, hassle and everything that might gonna happen down the road. I don't wanna risk it. So two pairs, just gonna let it go. But the family, my daughter and my dad still pick up some of the orders or the wins that they are under names. So just unfortunate today, I can't pick up my wins on Foot Locker and Champs because of the weather and don't want to risk it so and we are home what's up everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for watching and thank you for dropping by jane alaska here in this channel we talk about lifestyle and sneaker related stuff and as uh, i mentioned on the intro that i wasn't able to pick up uh my reservation because of the bad weather but the good thing is um, I also have my family also have a different account so they won a few my daughter won a few grade school and my dad also so how many pair we got here we go that's on one two that's three four and five so one two three four four pairs of the grade school and one pair of um, men's which is my size 10 and a half hmm. yeah unfortunately uh, supposed to have more my two pairs is <laughs> forfeited because I was unable to go get it just like I mentioned bad weather and I don't want to risk risk it and um, still they got one four pairs uh, about 30 35 pushing to 45 40 dollars uh return of investment on those but um high size 10 and a half that's why i pick up die 10 and a half because i really want to have this one um looking at the box nice colorway this i like this what they did on this one it's not just the typical um, black and red so that's a, a good move for them kudos to the um, Nike team so let's take them out Ooh, man I knew it I knew I knew it it's much better in hand um, rather than CN on uh, photos mm. Mm. That's the smell. That's the smell. Mm, mm, mm. Man, good thing I pick up my size. I wanted to double on this one. I don't have that much kind of yellow thing in my collection except for that one, the Lakers. But hey, anyway, thought on this particular one. We got the Jordan Pollen. Nice leather. This one is much better leather compared to the Shadow man good thing i got me good thing i got it for personal this is just for personal my size 10 and a half well things we didn't know about this one this air jordan pollen combines retro the novel design integrating the classic jordan one silhouette with premium tumbled leather construct many have compared this black and yellow jordan and the 1999 nike dunk high Wu Tang. Though you have to note that the pollen yellow overlays are deeper, richer yellow, Nike Air Tang tugs, embossed Air Jordan wings on the logo, and both lateral and median swoosh leave no question you're wearing a Nike. So that's like what they mentioned, it's look like it's the um, 1999 Nike Dunkai embossed and I get a perfect combination for this one since I got this one long way 
before I got the shoe. So I've been wanting to wear this. See, we got the Wu Tang clan, and then we could pair it to the shoe. What do you think? Any thoughts? So that's another good combination. So good thing I have my size ten and a half. Okay, I'm glad this one came out really nice. The tumbled leather right here in the toe box it is really nice, and also on the lateral and median side. So nice. Um, I think the colorway of this wool, I mean the lace should be better when you will you use the white ones but um, Let's see. Oh, okay. So what do you think? See that's gonna be a good combination 